Hello everyone, today our video is about circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are essential components of any electrical system, providing protection against overcurrent and preventing electrical fires. In this video we will discuss as different types of circuit breakers, their operating mechanisms, applications, and relevant industry standards. Let's start with miniature circuit breaker, also known as MCB. MCBs are the most common type of circuit breakers used in residential and commercial applications. They are designed to protect electrical circuits from overcurrent and short circuits. Understanding how circuit breakers work is crucial for maintaining your home's electrical safety. The primary function of a circuit breaker is to detect overcurrents and initiate tripping to prevent electrical hazards. Two key components involved in this process are bimetallic strips and electromagnetic coils. Bimetallic strip bends when the current exceeds the rated value, triggering the mechanism to open the circuit. In the event of a short circuit, an electromagnet activates to trip the breaker instantly. These mechanisms work together to help prevent electrical damage and ensure safety in your home. Operating Voltage and Current Rating Typically, according to IEC standards, miniature circuit breakers, MCBs, are rated for voltages up to 240 volts for single-phase applications and up to 415 volts for three-phase applications, with various current ratings available that generally range from 2 amps to 125 amps, depending on the specific application and design. Let's look at where miniature circuit breakers, or MCBs, are commonly used. First, residential wiring. In homes, MCBs protect lighting and power circuits by preventing damage caused by overloads or short circuits. They're essential for keeping household wiring safe. Second, commercial installations. In offices, shops, and other commercial spaces, MCBs safeguard equipment and appliances, ensuring they don't get damaged due to electrical faults. Now let's talk about molded case circuit breakers, or MCCBs, which are widely used in industrial applications. MCCBs are designed to protect larger electrical equipment. They are suitable for applications that require higher current ratings and robust protection. So how do they actually work? Well, there are two key parts to know about. First, there's the thermal element. This kicks in when there's too much current flowing for too long. It's what protects against overloads. Then there's the magnetic element, which reacts instantly to short circuits. If a sudden spike happens, it trips the breaker right away. Now let's talk about voltage and current ratings of MCCB. They can deal with voltages up to 1000 volts AC or 1500 volts DC, and their current ratings range from 16 amps to 2500 amps. And where do we find them? Well, they're used to protect industrial equipment like motors. You'll also see them in commercial buildings, often in the main distribution panels. Now let's talk about residual current circuit breakers, also known as RCCB. They are all about protecting against electric shocks. They detect imbalances in current between the live and neutral wires. Let's discuss their working principle. Imagine you've got electricity flowing into your home through the live wire and back out through the neutral wire. Normally, the current in both wires is balanced, but if there's a fault, like a damaged wire or someone accidentally touching a live part, some current leaks out. The RCCB's toroidal core detects this imbalance. When the leakage current exceeds the safe limit, the differential amplifier triggers the breaker to trip, cutting off power immediately. You'll often see RCCBs rated for 30 milliamps to protect people and 100 milliamps to 300 milliamps for equipment safety. They're used in both residential and commercial installations to protect against electrical shocks from faulty equipment or wiring. Next, let's talk about air circuit breakers, or ACBs. They are designed for high current applications, commonly found in industrial setups. Here's how they work. When a fault happens, the contacts inside the ACB separate to break the circuit. But here's the tricky part. When contacts separate, an electrical arc forms. This is dangerous because it can maintain the current flow. To handle this, ACBs use an arc extinguishing chamber that rapidly cools and extinguishes the arc. ACBs can handle voltages up to 1000 volts AC and currents ranging from 400 amps to 60 to 300 amps. They're perfect for protecting large equipment like motors and transformers or managing power distribution in substations and large buildings. Moving on, we have vacuum circuit breakers or VCBs. They are built for medium and high voltage applications and are commonly used in power plants and substations. Similar to ACBs, they have contacts that separate to interrupt the circuit during a fault. 
But instead of air, VCBs use a vacuum chamber to extinguish the arc. Why a vacuum? Because it's an excellent insulator, and there's no medium for the arc to sustain itself. VCBs are typically rated for voltages between 3.3 kV and 36 kV, and currents from 630 amps to 4,000 amps. They're great for protecting generators, transformers, and high-voltage distribution systems. Now let's discuss SF6 gas circuit breakers. SF6 gas breakers are used in very high-voltage applications, utilizing sulfur hexafluoride gas to quench the arc. So how do they work? Like the others, they have contacts that separate to break the circuit. But here's the difference. They use sulfur hexafluoride, SF6 gas, as the arc quenching medium. SF6 is fantastic for this because it's a highly efficient insulator and can extinguish arcs almost instantly. SF6C can handle voltages up to 800 kVs, making them essential for power transmission and distribution in substations and high voltage networks. Choosing the right circuit breaker is crucial for keeping electrical systems safe and reliable. From the small-scale protection of MCB and RCCB to the heavy-duty capabilities of MCCB, ACB, VCB, and SF6 gas breaker, each type is designed for specific needs. Understanding these differences helps ensure you select the best option for residential, commercial, or industrial systems. That's all for today's video on circuit breakers. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more electrical engineering content. Have any questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.